Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to repurpose your old Samsung device and turn it into a desktop PC. So what I've got here is the Galaxy S20 FE. I've actually had this for about a year, lost track of it, recently found it in the drawer, so I figured I'd go ahead and pull it out, charge it up. Everything still works, but I don't have a use for this phone right now. So I figured we could repurpose it and turn it into an Android powered desktop PC. So with these Samsung devices, we have something built in called DeX, and this goes on from the Galaxy S8 on up to the S24. Samsung DeX is really just a different user interface that allows us to kind of connect to a larger display, gives us a little more room to work with. We've got floating windows, you can open up multiple tabs, and it comes in really handy for connecting it to a big screen like your TV or a monitor. Now, in order to get this up and running, there are a few things you're going to need. First and foremost, you'll need a way to connect your phone to a display. So I would recommend something like a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. This one here is pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. It does work with these devices up to the Galaxy S24. USB Type-C, HDMI, three USB ports. It's got a full-size SD and a micro SD card reader plus power in for charging your device while it's all connected. But for this setup, I'm gonna be using an HDMI dock that was really created for the Steam Deck. And one of the big reasons here is we've got a lot of IO, full-size HDMI out, one USB 2.0 port. We've got two USB 3.0 ports. It also has ethernet plus an M.2 SSD slot. That way I can add more storage to this phone. I've got a 256 gigabyte PCIe 3 M.2 SSD in here, and you could go up to one terabyte with this. Another thing you could do is just run everything from an SD card, but since I already had this, it wasn't being utilized by my Steam Deck, I figured we'd go ahead and test it out. And yeah, once the drive is formatted correctly, I went with NTFS, it does connect to the phone just fine, and we can use it as external storage. Another thing to make life a little easier is just a wireless mouse and keyboard or even a wired mouse and keyboard. You may already have something like this laying around, but it's gonna make navigating Samsung decks much easier. One last thing, controller always comes in handy if you wanna do some gaming on this device while it's connected to an external display. There's lots of different USB Type-C to HDMI adapters out there. I'll leave a few links in the description. I'll try to come up with some cheaper stuff on Amazon to get this working. Okay, so I've got my dock plugged into my monitor. Remember, you could use your TV if you need to. Basically, what I've got is HDMI to the display. I've also got power going into the dock so we can charge that phone up while everything's connected. And with these Samsung devices, once you plug in a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter, it's automatically gonna detect it. It'll go into Samsung DeX. Now, if it doesn't, you can always go into the settings and find Samsung DeX, enable it from there. But for the most part, from the Galaxy S8 on up to the S24 Ultra, it should automatically go over to Samsung DeX. Okay, so now that we're up and running with Samsung DeX, I did want to give you a look at this. If we go into our files, you can see that I don't have an SD card installed here. Our internal storage on this S20 FE is 128 gigs. But remember, we've got that dock with the M.2 SSD. And I just put a 256 gigabyte PCIe 3 drive in there. As far as the manufacturer of the dock states, you can do one terabyte in that with no problem at all. I've seen some people online with other docks doing up to four terabytes, but I'd say one terabyte would be plenty for a little phone slash PC like this. But yeah, I mean, we've got access to that M.2 SSD. So out of the box, very easy to use. Down here in the lower left hand corner is our app panel. From here, we can use a mouse or you can use the on-screen touchpad. It's really up to you, but since we're kind of trying to transform this into a desktop PC, I'm going with the mouse and keyboard. Everything that I've got installed in Android is over here. You can access Google Play, download anything else that you'd like. Now what I want to do is just go ahead and plug this into my game capture so it's a bit easier to see everything. Okay, we should be able to see exactly what's going on. Now keep in mind, you might run into some apps that don't scale properly with Samsung DeX. It used to be that Minecraft didn't work well. We will take a look at it running in just a little bit, but uh, in the past it wouldn't scale right. I think they have fixed that issue since, but if we wanted to open up multiple apps, not a problem. We also have a snap feature. So we can snap this over here. We've got our maximize, minimize. We can bring it right back down and we can detach this completely and scale it however we'd like. Open it up something else, like let's say calculator. We can have this over on this side. We'll do one more. 
Let's go with Google Chrome, because a lot of people will be using that in a desktop environment. So you can have multiple apps up and running. And again, we've got that Snap feature. So if we needed the calculator over here, let's say we wanted Google Play or anything else over on this side, we've got these separated windows. That's one thing I really love about Dex. Now there are other Android phones on the market that you can plug in to an external display and it will display your basic Android on screen, but we've got a totally different interface to work here, which works a lot better with these larger displays. So this is the stock wallpaper, but if we right click on the desktop, wallpaper, gallery, you can download what you want. I'll go ahead and set this up. Look a little something like this. And now we've got a much brighter wallpaper, so you can customize this to your liking. And there are a few main settings that you may need to access for Samsung DeX. So what we're going to do here is go to Settings, Samsung DeX. And from here, we've got Screen Zoom, Font Size. So if we wanted to change this font size, we could do it. I leave mine right about there. Screen Zoom. Take a second, but everything is a bit bigger. Wallpaper, display resolution. As far as I can tell, on the S20, without any third party applications, this will do 1080p, but there are apps out there that will allow you to go up to 1440p 60fps with the S20. But for this video, I'm just sticking right there at 1080p because I do think it looks really good, especially if you've got a decent monitor or television. Couple other settings keyboard, mouse, and trackpad, so we can change the sensitivity there. Just keep in mind, we do have dedicated Samsung deck settings. One of the main things everybody does on their PC is web browsing. So we'll go ahead and pull that up. Full screen. We'll just head over to Samsung. This setup is actually pretty quick and you could plug in Ethernet depending on the dock you have. But we've got Wi-Fi 6 here with the S20 FE. And uh, on my network, it's not bad. I've got a pretty decent router though. Everything loads up really quickly. Now we're not working with the top of the line chip because we've got an older phone. It's the Snapdragon 865. But for video playback, which is the next thing we're gonna be taking a look at, web browsing, document editing, using something like Outlook or Google Sheets, you could definitely get by with something like this. Watching videos on a larger display with this works out great and it will handle 4K HDR 60 FPS playback. Got some YouTube here. We're gonna pause this. I'm gonna to go to settings, quality, and we're gonna take this up to 4K 60 HDR. I'm gonna go back just a bit in the movie or in the video here. And I do have the sound turned off because it is copyrighted music. But just keep in mind, sound is working here and it looks amazing on this larger screen. Snapdragon 865, more than enough power for 4K 60 playback. And if you wanted to go with your other favorite apps, let's say Hulu or Netflix, we do have Widevine level one, so we can do HD content there. Even video editing is possible. I use Adobe Rush here, just in mobile. So we're gonna create a new project, sample media. We'll select these, create. It's gonna prepare that media for us. Now we've got them all in line. Pretty quick. I definitely wouldn't recommend this for professional video editing, but for home videos, you kind of need to piece together. This would work out and it does help out having that larger display, just more room to work. So with the setup like this, you could get a little bit of work done, document editing, checking your emails, replying to emails, just having all that set up is nice. You also have really great video playback on a larger display. But my favorite thing here is gaming on a larger screen with Android. So we'll go ahead and start up Call of Duty Mobile. Once we get loaded in a bit, we can actually reposition the window. That way you could play the game while you have another app running, or you can go full screen with it. And that's personally how I like playing these. Okay, so with this, I'm at high settings, high frame rate, and it definitely looks good on this larger display. The Snapdragon 865 does have enough power to run this game perfectly fine at those high settings, along with something like Diablo Immortal. 
Right now, we're at medium settings, 60 FPS, going up to high, get a couple stutters here and there. Again, it's an older chipset, and something like Genshin Impact can be played. But remember, in Android, we don't have official gamepad support for Genshin Impact, so you'd have to use a third-party mapper. And personally, I've never had really good luck using those with Samsung DeX. But for the most part, you should be good to go with most of the games over on Google Play right now, and it also handles emulation quite well. We're not going to be able to do something like Switch or high-end PS2 games very well, or at least upscaled. But it can handle most of that stuff at 1x. Here's Dreamcast, and I'm using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth. I actually paired up two controllers, and I just wanted to see if we could get two players going. It definitely works with Android. Next up, we've got some PSP using the standalone version of PPSSPP. Chains of Olympus 2x resolution. I think we could go up to 3x on the Snapdragon 865, but even on this big screen at 2x, it still looks pretty good. And finally, we've got some GameCube. Now, I will admit there are some harder to emulate games like F0 GX that just aren't going to work very well on the Snapdragon 865 but there's a lot of easier to emulate games that can run at full speed. So yeah, I do think that this is a viable option for repurposing an old Samsung device. Remember, the S8 up to the S24 Ultra will work. We've got that S20 FE. Another thing here is the Galaxy S6 up to the S9 tablets also support Samsung DeX, but you can use the built-in screen for that because it's got a much larger display. But yeah, I mean, if you've got an old phone laying around or if you can pick one of these up really cheap, then it might be worth setting something like this up if you're looking to repurpose that phone or just have kind of a secondary desktop setup. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like I mentioned, I will leave links in the description. Most of the stuff is going to be from Amazon, USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. Pick up a wireless keyboard or something like that if you need to. If you've got any questions or you want to see anything else running on this setup, let me know in the comments below. Like always. Thanks for watching.